What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So let's solve this problem here. So basically, we're given a specimen, and we know that its diameter is 13 millimeters and its length is 15 millimeters. And then we're told that a force 50 p or 50 kilonewtons makes the diameter shrink to this 12.99 millimeters. We're also given the stress strain diagram, and are told we need to find Poisson's ratio, which is this V symbol here. So yeah, let's just get started with it. So our uh, equation for Poisson's ratio is Poisson's ratio is equal to uh, the strain in the long direction over the strain in the lateral direction. So that means if you have like a tube, the strain in the long direction is how much it expands or contracts in the long direction, whereas, or I did it backwards, right? This is the lateral versus long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just testing you guys, right? Of course you know that. Lat versus long, right? There we go. Good job. Okay, so now, yeah, so this the lateral is how much the diameter shrinks or decreases, whereas the long is how much the length increases or decreases. So we're given how much the diameter changes, but we basically need to find how much it increases in length. So let's go ahead and solve for that. So one thing we're gonna need for that, right, is E, the modulus of elasticity. And we can get the modulus of elasticity by looking at the elastic region of the stress strain diagram. So the elastic region is basically the straight linear line here, and we want to find the slope of that because that's going to be equal to E. So right now let's solve for E. E is just the slope of this line, so we know it's 400 megapascals. So 400, 10 to the 6, over 0 0.002. All right, so you solve for E here, and you get that E is equal to 200 gigapascals. So that's what we have now. Now we need to move on to the next part and find out what our strain is in the long direction. So we're gonna use the equation, uh, stress is equal to the modulus of elasticity times strain, and we're looking in the long direction. So let's expand this, so stress, we don't know what stress is, but we know what the equation is. That's gonna be force over area. And then we wanna solve for strain, so let's divide by E. So you get P over AE is equal to strain in the long direction. And now we know all these things, so let's plug in our numbers. So force is 50 kilonewtons. Area is pi over four diameter squared. Pi over four, and diameter is 13. So 13 squared. We use our original diameter here, not the new diameter. And then we use uh, E, right? So we town is 200. So these units are kind of wacky, but they end up actually working out just fine, as same as if you use meters, or I mean, the same as if you use newtons on top, meters on the bottom and pascals on the bottom, it's gonna give you the same number, so don't get too confused there. And then you find that epsilon um, is equal to 0 0.00188 millimeters per millimeter. So that's one half of the equation. Now we just need to find the other half of the equation, which is the lateral strain. So I'm gonna take a seat and solve for that part. So the equation, for actual strain itself, so we're solving for that here, is the change in diameter, which is the top, right, D prime minus D, final minus initial, over the original length, diameter. So if we plug our numbers here, D prime, this is a new diameter, so that's gonna be 12.99265 minus 13 over 13. You get that the lateral strain is equal to negative 5.65 and 10 to the negative fourth millimeters per millimeter. Okay, so now all we have to do is plug it into Poisson's ratio, right? So Poisson's ratio, negative lat over long. So we just found lat, negative 5.65, 10 to the negative four. And then long, we found 0 0.00188. You're gonna find that Poisson's ratio is equal to 0 0.300. And there you go, that's how you solve this problem. All right, not too tricky, it's just about knowing these equations. So if you have any questions or if you wanna practice some more, check out the rest of my videos in the playlist, ask any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.